And COVID-19 pandemic is taking a toll on global economics and Nigeria is also feeling the heat. Chairman of the Nigerian Deposit Insurance Corporation, NDIC, Funke Shokefun, explained just how much pressure the banking sector is facing during a fireside chat organized by Babalaki and core legal practitioners in collaboration with Insolvency Disclosure. Anita Felix has the story. Nigeria's banking regulators, the Central Bank of Nigeria, and the Nigeria Deposit Insurance Corporation, NDIC, are tasked with ensuring financial stability. This tough role also means taking tough decisions, like revoking the licenses of 37 microfinance banks that were deemed beyond saving. The NDIC Act. Um, Speaking at an online fireside chat with legal practitioners, NDIC Chairman Funke Shokefun addressed a perception that the NDIC and the CBN only rescues financially distressed deposit money banks, but not microfinance banks and primary mortgage banks. The truth of the matter is most of them, the um, MFDs and PNBs, they don't meet our conditions. Um, as at um, the end of Q1, 47 microfinance banks um, were listed for closure. Why? They could no longer pay their depositors, um, of businesses and persistent non-rendition of monthly returns. Given her assessment of the Nigerian banking climate during the COVID-19 pandemic, Shokefu describes the performance of the Nigerian banking industry as satisfactory based on capital adequacy, liquidity and banks' earnings. Thankfully, CBN has intervened. They have extended more terms in certain cases. Um, all the uh, incentives, you know, that they have, the re reliefs that they have you know, proposed. By and large, the industry is relatively stable um, and there's nothing to worry about. As the World Bank projects a 3.2% contraction in Nigeria's economy, Shokefu calls on the CBN and the NDIC to agree on timelines for bridging banks to reduce operational costs on the government. Anetta Felix, Plus TV Africa.